Do you mind if I accompany you? Not at all. I'm very glad to have you with us, sir. Oh, he reminds me of Mexico. Yes, but there was there dry. That was a good outfit. I remember storming the ramparts of Chapultepec with old George Pickett. <laughs> Reynolds, my old friend, Ulysses Sam Grant. There were some good men in that army. Yes, sir, there were indeed. Some of those men are waiting for us now, up ahead on those ridges. I don't know. I sometimes feel troubled. Those fellas, those boys in blue, they never quite seem the enemy. I know. I used to command some of those boys. Swore an oath, too. Uh, I, I, I couldn't fight against Georgia, South Carolina. Not against my own family. No, sir. There was always a higher duty to Virginia. That was our first duty. There's never any question or doubt about that. Yes, so. But let us not think about that now. The issue is in God's hands. We can only do our duty. General, soldier has one great trap. To be a good soldier, you must love the army. To be a good commander, you must be willing to order the death of the thing you love. We do not fear our own death, you and I. But there comes a time. We are never quite prepared for so many to die. Oh, we do expect the occasional empty chair, a salute to fallen comrades. But this war goes on and on, and the men die, and the price gets ever higher. We are prepared to lose some of us, but we are never prepared to lose all of us. And there is the great trap, General. When you attack, you must hold nothing back. You must commit yourself totally. We are adrift here in a sea of blood, and I want it to end. I want this to be the final battle. You know, I woke up this morning and I half thought he'd be gone, George Meade, that he would not want to fight here. Yes, sir. I woke up and I thought Meade will be gone. And this war will go on and on and on. Well, sir, we'll make him sorry he stayed. God go with you, General. And with you, General. <laughs>